Alright, today we're going to take a look at the aptly named diving board problem. And this consists of a person standing on the end of a diving board. And what we're going to go through and do is look at the forces by the two supports on the diving board when this entire system, that is the person and the diving board, are in equilibrium. So in this problem, we're going to have a 50 kilogram person standing on the end of a 3 meter long diving board. Now that diving board is supported by two points here. There's a pin at the end of the diving board. And then there's a roller right here. Now this is a statics problem, so we're going to solve this problem just like we would any other statics problem. And that is we are first going to draw a free body diagram showing all the forces that are in question in this problem. So first we have gravity acting downward on the person. Then we have the force by this roller. And we have the force by this pin. Now you may be wondering to yourself why the force by the roller is drawn is upward and the force by the pin is downward. And I want you to realize that's nothing other than an educated guess. Imagine these supports weren't here and we were to simply lay this diving board across the edge of the pool and the person stood on it. Well, the diving board would tip around this corner right here, causing it to fall into the pool. So I can guess pretty well that this point right here, or this pin, is going to have to be pulling downward on the diving board. And something has to be acting upward in this problem. You see I've got a force downward by gravity and a force downward by this pin. Well, that means this force by the roller is going to have to be upward. So these are guesses as to the correct directions of these forces. And we'll see how that comes into play later on. Now, since we have two unknowns here, what we're going to do is choose to look around one of these two supports in order to find the sum of all torques around that support. <clears throat> no. Now, because this diving board is in static equilibrium, we know the sum of all torques around any point along this diving board is zero. So what I'm going to choose to do, because I have two unknowns, is I'm going to choose to look at one of the two supports. We'll start with the pin. And by doing that, we're going to take the unknown at that support out of the equation. And I'll show you what I mean. Looking at the sum of all torques around the pin, we know the sum of all torques around the pin is zero. And that is going to be the result of this force by the roller producing some torque. So I'll call that the torque by the roller plus the torque by the person. Now because these two forces are in opposite directions yet on the same side of our pin which we're looking, uh, we're going to be able to go ahead and say that they have opposite signs. Using the right hand rule, you'll see R cross F, uh, this force by the roller is going to produce a torque out of the page, which we're going to say is positive, and the torque by the person, R cross F, is going to be into the page. So I'm going to say that is negative. Now you may be wondering, why aren't I including the force by the pin? Well, the force by the pin is at the pin, and therefore it has no radius. And so if we were to go ahead and say here, there's some torque by the pin, realize that radius due to this force is, is zero, because the force by the pin is, is at the pin. So that term is zero, so we don't need to include it. Now we know that torque is R cross F, or as we're looking at things here in, in two dimensions, RF sine theta. So all I'm going to do is simply apply this equation to these two torques to come up with the total torque around the pin. So we're going to have zero, our net torque around the pin, is equal to the torque by the roller. That's going to be the distance from the pin to the roller. According to this dimension, that's one meter times the force at the roller. We don't know what that is. I'm just going to call it force roller times the sine of the angle between the radius vector, that is the diving board, and the roller itself. Well, those are at a right angle, so we're going to have the sine of 90 degrees. Then we're going to have the torque by the person. Now this is in the negative direction uh, because according to the right hand rule, we're getting torque into the page. Now the person is standing on the end of the diving board that's three meters long. And the person is going to be producing a force downward equal to their mass. That is 50 times 9.81. And then, of course, we have the angle between the force by gravity straight downward and our horizontal diving board. So we're going to have sine of 90 degrees. Now, both of these terms are 1. And in solving 
for the force by the roller we get. One thousand four hundred seventy-one point five newtons. Now you play whatever game you want with sig figs here. Again, that's not what this is about today. Uh, so this force by the roller, it has a certain value, and we need to decide whether this is up or down. And we'll come back to this in a little while. Uh, we've sort of guessed that this force by the roller is upward, and I'll show you that it has to be in a little bit here. You'll see. But for now, let's move on and find the force by the pin. Now, in order to find the force by the pin, what we're going to do is rather than looking at all the torques around the pin, we're going to look at all the torques around the roller. Now, we know the sum of all torques around any point is zero because this is a statics problem, and the sum of all torques on any object or around any point has to be zero. So around the roller, the net torque is zero. Now, that net torque is the result of the force by the pin, so I'm going to say that pin is producing a torque. We'll call it the torque by the pin. And then, of course, again, we're going to have some torque by the person. And again, we need to go through and work out the signs of these torques. Now, according to the right-hand rule, R cross F, like this, we see that the torque by the pin is out of the page, so it's positive. And again, the torque by the person is going to be in the negative direction. And again, we're going to use RF sine theta for torque, and we're going to be substituting in the relevant values over here. So looking first at the torque by the pin. The distance between the pin and the roller is one meter. And then we've got the force by the pin. That's an unknown, which we're trying to solve for. And again, the angle between the force by the pin and the diving board is 90 degrees. Next, we have the torque by the person. And this is where we have to be careful. The distance between the person and the roller is only two meters. That is this dimension right here. It's tempting to say they're three meters away from the roller, but they're not. They're only two meters away. So we've got two times our force by the person. That is their weight. That's 50 times 9.81. And again, this force is straight down, so we're going to have sine of 90. And again, these both reduce down to one. And in solving for the force by the pin, we find the force by the pin is 981 newtons. Now we've made some suppositions in this problem, and that is that we've supposed this force is straight up and this force by the pin is straight down. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna to prove to you that's exactly what's going on here. We know this diving board is not moving vertically. Again, it's a statics problem. And so rather than looking at torque, what I want to do is prove these two results are correct by looking at the sum of all forces in the y-axis. Now we know the sum of all forces in the y-axis has to add up to zero. And if we look at the forces which we have acting vertically, there's the force by the pin, the force by the roller, and the force by the person. Now in adding these three forces up, we should get a total of zero. Now, provided we agree that up is positive, this force by the person downward is going to be negative. Now, when we fill in our values for the forces, I know this force by the person is downward, so it's negative. Well, the only way to make this entire line of math work out to be zero is that if this force by the pin is downward and the force by the roller is upward. There's no other way to make these all add up to zero. And so what this does is this proves that this force by the roller has to be up. And this force by the pin must be down. Now sometimes you'll see this problem dressed up differently where they'll support the board at the two ends and put some mass in the middle. Or you could add some mass to this diving board or something like that. Uh, but those are just other variants of this problem. But this is the diving board problem. And that's all for now.